Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be doing this makeup look for you guys that I'm wearing right now. Um, I won't, don't want to say it's a no makeup makeup look because I do want it to make it look like I have a little bit of makeup on, but I don't want it to make it look like I'm like cake face or anything. So this is my idea of like a minimalistic makeup look. Um, so I hope you guys like it. Um, so yeah, this is really simple to achieve, really easy. Um, it probably take you like five minutes it's taken obviously me a bit longer because I've been explaining it but yeah it takes about five minutes and this is the look I've been going to lately um, when I want to put a little bit on my face but I don't want to look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup so when I'm like going to take my daughter to play group or that type of stuff so yeah if you'd like to see me recreate this look for you guys then please stay tuned and keep on watching okay so my face is already uh, moisturized um, it's not super important step for this look just because we are using um, a tinted moisturizer so your face is going to be moisturized anyway so to start off with I'm going to prep my face with some Nivea Men Sensu Crochet Balm just like per usual just because I like priming with this like my favorite product. And you're just rubbing that into your face until it becomes nice and tacky. So next we're going in with foundation or tint and moisturizer. Now if you've got one at home you can go ahead and use that or you can create your own which is really easy to do. So you need to start off with some moisturizer. I'm just going to use this uh, Beauty Essentials um, Hydrated 24 Hour Face Cream which is made for dry skin and just pop a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm going in with a really light coverage foundation and for that I'm using the Matte Rimmel Match Perfection um, Light Perfecting Radiance Foundation and just a little pump of that. And then just for some dewiness to the skin I'm going in with the Maybelline Touch of Light and just a little bit of that. And then just mix this concoction on the back of your hand. Now it's going to look like a foundation, it's going to have a different texture, like a creamy texture. And then once that's done, we're going to get a damp beauty blender, excess on there, and just start rubbing it into the face. Now you can pat, um, but I actually like to rub it in to the face. Now it's not really going to add any coverage, and um, that's more what your concealer is going to do later on. So it's going to add a little like touch of coverage, like not full on foundation coverage and it sort of start to even out everything. And it's the um, moisturizer is going to keep you nice and hydrated. So as you can see, it hasn't really added much to the skin, but it is feeling really nice and hydrated and moisturized, which is good. So next we're gonna go in and conceal. So obviously for me, I'll be concealing my under eyes and any blemishes um, along the skin. So I'm going to be using the Rimmel Wake, Wake, Wake Me Up Concealer, and this is just their lighter shade. So I'm gonna start off with under the eyes. So I just like to put a little bit here because we don't want to do the whole contouring like triangle thing because it's going to look a bit silly because we haven't got anything else in our skin and we're not doing any like cream contouring or anything like that so and then I'm just going to um, use the sponge the opposite side and just start patting that underneath the eyes. And these are like the perfect summer look um, for going out because it's not heaps of makeup but then again you're still going to look really um, nicely done up you know you're not gonna look like it's like in days um so and then just whatever's left on the bundle just like to run over my eyelids just to make sure they're not so dark and then the other side now as you can see it was also this isn't a super light this is pretty close to my skin tone um, whereas if I used to do something like the Maybelline Fit Me that I've got, which is quite light, it will look very bright, but can it look, um, 
but it can look a bit um, too bright um, when you haven't got the rest of your face done. So then just go in and spot conceal anywhere else that might need it. I think that's going to darkness or anything like that. Okay, so now once that's done, I'm just going to set my under eyes. Um, and I have found something that I've like I've used this one time. I thought it worked really well, so I'm going to keep using it for a bit longer and see how it goes. Um, so I'm going to set my under eye with the Maybelline, or sorry, the Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, pressed powder in 001 transparent so I've got this little tool that I got from Kama and it's basically like a beauty blender on a stick <laughs> um, so it's dry at the moment so what I'm doing is basically picking up the product on the dry blender like this and then just making sure there's no creasing under the eyes and then just going in and pressing it in and that tip is going to get right in the corner for us make sure it's set nicely. And I'm also just going to go ahead and go ahead. And I'm also going to go ahead and set anywhere else that I don't want to be shiny. So for me that's my top lip which does tend to get a little bit oily and my nose and I'm just using this because it's out I don't need to and then I'm just going to wipe off any excess okay. now that's done I'm going to then go in with my brows so I pick up recently the NYX micro brow pencil in brunette and I've really been liking this I think I like it because it's got a brush on the end so it um, is a bit more easier than having to use so having to use two separate things um, but also the pencil itself um, is quite easy to work with so I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows I'm not going to really talk through them I'm just going to quickly run through it just because I do my brows quite a lot and I do have a brow tutorial brows are done I'm just gonna go ahead and set them with the Essence uh, Lash and Brow Gel Mascara in clear um, you don't have to go too overboard you can just use a bit of brow gel if you don't want to draw them in or however you normally do your brows go ahead and do it this. and I like to push my um, brow hairs up to some degree just to make them look a bit more I don't know, more natural Okay, so next um, we are going to go in with some blush. So for this I am using the Maybelline Master Glaze. Um, and this one is in the shade Just Pinched Pink. Um, and so I'm just going to pick some up on my finger and just start patting it into my cheeks. And I'm also going to take a bit on my finger and just pop some on my eyelids. You don't have to go and put anything on your lids, you can just leave them there. Or you can go in with some shadow, but I just like to have a little bit, so it's just like matching a bit more. <laughs> um, and then also, whatever left on my finger, I just run on the tip of my nose. So it's sort of like that flushed look. And then I'm going to go in with some stick highlighter and I've got these two that um, I've been really liking at the moment. These are ones I brought off eBay which is Sugar Queen and they're just like these stick highlighters. So it's 01 and 02, so 01 is more white, Oops. more white and then 02 is more pink and um, so I'm going to go in with 01 and just do pretty much the same so pick some up on my finger. And then just pat it in to my 
And then again, as before, there is also something that just run on the tip. So then, once that is done, um, I'm just going to go in with some bronzer, and I'm going to be um, just using a bit of powder just where we're putting the bronzer, just to make sure that the uh, bronzer blends nicely. So just get up a little bit of powder and just tap it in that area. Help it all blend. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in 022 Sam Bronze, which is like this. Um, just pick some up on the brush and just start working it in to bronze up the skin. It's not necessary, but I think the littlest bit of bronzer just adds that extra extraness. Extraness? Is that a word? Extra? Extra. The dance to the look. I don't even know if that's a word, but. And then just bring a little bit to the forehead, just. And, and around the jawline. And then just a little bit over the jawline. And believe it or not guys, we are almost done. So I'm going to, because I like to be really glowy, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit more highlighting with some powder highlighter. You of course don't have to do this, this is a step that is optional and if you like a more matte look then you don't have to highlight at all, or you can go in with a matte highlighter. Um, so I'm going to go in with the W7 Hollywood Bronze and Glow Duo, excuse me, and the highlighter shade. And just go over where we have highlighted here, um, the nose and about the brows. And we're going to go in with some mascara and we're just going to curl our lashes. And I'm using for my mascara today the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator. And then, now up to you how you go about with the lips. I'm just going to go in with a lip balm. Or not. So it's up to you how you choose to go in with the lips. Um, you can do lipstick, lip gloss, lip liquid lipstick, whatever you choose. I'm going to go in with a lip balm today. And I'm going to just use my Egg On Simply Pretty one in Grapefruit. And just go over the lips. And that, guys, completes this look. Like, how simple is that? So that guys concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you liked this video and to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And everything you need to know about this video will be listed down below as per usual for you guys. And until next time, we will see you guys soon. Bye.